Well, good evening. Hey, John, Kim, I just got your email. That picture you sent is just great. Thanks for seeing that picture. And uh, hello to Facebook. Hi, guys. And hey, Instagram. Hi, Kinley Dickerson and Craving Countries and Kev6015555443399. So great to have you guys. In fact, I'm going to wave to you guys on Instagram. I don't ha never have time to do that. So hi, welcome to my, uh, this is Friday Night Live. This is uh, You Can Draw in 30 Days uh, live at 8 p.m. heavy on the air since it's almost 9 p.m. I'm a, I kept on, like, I was ready to go at uh, 10 minutes to 8 about an hour ago, and then I kept on, uh, yeah, hey, Richard, how you doing? And uh, I squirrel, right? I get so distracted with all these projects. But uh, I tell you, I just love to Zoom teach. I love it. I was born to Zoom. I just, I've used many different uh, teaching platforms. And I tell you, I am a huge fan of the Zoom platform. It is so easy. And they're, they're brilliant. They gave away free, free access just for the basic communication. But then a very reasonably priced professional level to, to be able to zoom teach classes it's so awesome i don't know if you if you guys are familiar with zoom you if you've been zooming or doing google hangout or the other group but i tell you man i am zoom now we have a note from uh, uh joker harley zero five he remembers being around 10 years old watching oh thank you i think you're you're you must be talking about was it the secret city or the imagination station What's, what's crazy is I did two different public television series. This series was in 1985, and this one was in 1995 to 2009. Oh, The Secret City. Oh, cool. There's what well, you did. The Secret City. Well, you can, you'll be happy to know that you can download the secret, the uh, PBS PDF, and there's two old, old lost episodes on that. And someday it would be great to get uh, all the PBS episodes up there. Someday, somehow, to get all the old shows. I gotta reach out to Maryland Public Television and see see if they have those those old episodes. Anyhow, um, the, there's two of the episodes long lost on the uh, PBS app. I hope you guys download to check it out. Now, the uh, Imagination Station. This series right here, we actually won the Emmy. And look, I just happen to have the Emmy here. Oh yeah, we won the Emmy for this. You know, you do have it. You want to know why I have the Emmy sitting here? Besides the fact that I'm extremely modest and I just I show it at every opportunity because I'm like this insecure artist and I want you to be impressed and love me. Um, we're doing uh, this Saturday the twelfth coming up. We're doing another NASA special live webcast collaborating with NASA Team Artemis Mission to the Moon and Beyond, and these are some of the. These are some of the uh, episodes we did at noon on Saturdays. This is Saturday the 12th. We're going to go noon, live noon central time, Houston Control Central time. The draw Artemis here. And um, and I'm gonna, I'll show this to you in a second. I, gotta, uh, I just remembered something I had to write on the calendar. Okay. So uh, this is Saturday. Squirrel, right? Squirrel. Uh, so these are some of the different episodes we've done. We've done six episodes with the Draw Artemis NASA team. We have the engineers come on and the, their guests, and we have a NASA artist and NASA educators, uh, um, Jack and Patricia Moore. They're amazing uh, co-creators and directors of those. Look at these. And these are all on YouTube, you guys. If you want to see these, uh, see these episodes, so check them out. And that is why I have the Emmy sitting there. I put it in the background as a prop, as a wonderful prop. So, uh, hey, uh, by the way, the uh, the this this series right here, you can see twenty six. That we did one hundred and eighty episodes of that series, and you can see twenty six of them on Amazon Prime. Okay, it's pretty cool, right? And here's something, another interesting thing, a little tidbit about the Secret City. Uh, here's a little tidbit that you might find interesting. Uh, Zeptron, you guys remember Zeptron? Remember Zebtron from the Secret City? Let me know. Does anybody remember Zebtron? Hey, Tim Decker! Tim Decker's on. Tim Decker. Tim Decker is a, a, my dear friend up there in Milwaukee. And check this out. You guys are going to be amazed and impressed. 
I wish I had a, a, a clean. I had taken all my notes. Oh, here it is. Look at here's our schedule. We have Secret City right now. Check this out. Uh, this is my Art Academy schedule, my Fine Arts Academy, right? I got a Fine Arts Academy. I Zoom all day long, like hours and hours and hours every day, right? Now, I'm inviting all these different guest artists to come on. And Tim Decker is right here, Disney artist, uh, former Simpsons animator, professor of animation and puppetry and claymation. He's going to be coming Tuesday the 8th. And uh, Joel Gorey, Zebtron, is going to be our special guest at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday the 11th. You guys can download this. You can print this from my website or from my Facebook page or my Instagram page. Um, we got Ed Heck coming, uh, an, an international celebrity children's author. We have NASA artist and NASA educator Jack Moore, Patricia Moore. Jack, we had so many cool – look at all these artists coming. It's just it's such an exciting – Art Academy. I hope you guys uh I hope you guys check it out and join us here. So Zebtron's coming. He's coming. If you guys like the Secret City, if you like the Secret City, you're gonna love love him. All right, so here's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna do a drawing here. Uh, but let me share with you what we did during our Fine Arts Academy today. Today, during the Fine Arts Academy, uh, we created a little finger puppet thumbs up, and we created a license to flop. We did this at noon, too, on my YouTube and uh, Facebook guy. You like that? And then look at today. We did the pencil power. Learn those words from the books. Pencil. Someone someone type in the word pencil power. Aren't these great? I've had these old puppets for years. And we finally created new ones. You guys are so smart. You guys say I did a couple versions of this guy. Look. You did, it's it's kind of crowded. Kind of crowded with Einstein's today. All right, so tonight, here's our here's our you can draw on thirty days book. I hope you guys hope you guys get ten copies of those. You guys, I hope you guys get ten copies. And yes, I'm thinking about my baked chicken downstairs for dinner. I'm so excited! Aha! I'm ready for dinner. So I'm gonna we're gonna jam through this wonderful lesson. And uh, I would like to I would like to draw draw these. Uh, Finish this. This is gonna be a puppet, and this is gonna be a puppet. We didn't quite finish this one today. All right, I'm gonna work on this one now. You guys think of what, which one of these puppets do you wanna want me to draw tonight? Do you want me to draw a ready? Do you want me to draw a flying pig puppet, or do you want me to draw some kind of a dinosaur puppet, or do you want me to draw like a, a, a let me see, like a fish puppet, little fishy guy, little little fish uh, like um. This is from, um, you know what this is from. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do you? Do you? Do you remember? Do you remember me? It's from Finding Nemo, and it is, what's the name of the character? Ellen DeGeneres was the one who did the audio. We could do a penguin puppet. Which puppet do you guys want to draw? Dinosaur pig. A what? A dinosaur pig? Oh, you mean a flying pig? You want me to draw some kind of like morph crazy di Well, what about a robot? You want to do a robot puppet? Ooh, so flying pig. Uh, that's okay. How about that? It's between. It's between the flying pig. Let's find that one. Let's see. Where's that flying pig guy? Where is he? We could do a little toad puppet. That's kind of cool. I want to do a puppet that to make your. For now on, I don't want your uh, face time chats with your friends or your zoom chats with your friends to be ever have any awkward silences you can always if there's an awkward silence you just throw in a puppet and say ah! and make some kind of cool comment there or we could do space kitty puppet look at that space kitty puppet so we have robot robot pig look at joey you're you're getting all kinds of funkiness going you're getting all kinds of craziness going uh, there's Dan on here. There's Joe Goods on Instagram. Pencil power. All right. So it looks like you guys are. Uh, it looks like we're going toward the pig. All right. So let's let's. Where's that pig? I just had it out. There it is. So you guys want to do a little flying pig puppet? Is that what you want to do tonight? Uh, I had fun posting my license to flop drawing on your page. Richard, is it on my page right now? Let's take a look at it. Let me see here. Is it on my page? Here, I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to go to Facebook. I'll show everybody right now. Let me go to Facebook. And I don't see it here. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, look at I got sucked into Facebook. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I got it. I'm what I I know this is so rude. I'm on live and I'm responding on Facebook. I just I just saw this one year ago post that came up that was Koi. These pictures are so cool. You you've got to see this. Yeah, look at that's Koi hanging. This is my house. And Koi Mitchell came over and he's hanging. Look at all that. I have hundreds of art pieces. And he this is one of the walls in my house. It goes up like 60 feet. And he got up on a ladder and he hung all these pictures. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Look at all those art. Koi, I miss you, buddy. And that, that's a that's a scene from it going downstairs, you see. This is from the upstairs, downstairs. And this is all my artwork. All around the house is other other people's art that I collect. And no, I don't know why my fingers look yellow splotched on the camera. It freaks me out. My hands are normal color, I swear. That looks so weird on the camera. That's just I'm getting a new camera, guys. And now I'm all self-conscious. My jaundice fingers. Now look, uh, it's just it's so cool. There he is. Now you can see inside. There's Koi right here. You see it, it through here, back. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a doorway, and then inside there's another room. It's, you know, hundred art pieces in there from other. And I just love art. I love love love. Under the stairs, this is all student work, artwork, and sculpture. I love my drawing, and I love my art. And Koi Mitchell helped me hang it. I will be forever grateful. All right, now what I'm trying to do is find that posting that he said. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, well, Richard, are you? Well, here's. Oh, I got it. Here's Richard's post. There it is, Richard. License to flop. There it is. That's awesome, Richard. Thank you for posting it. Anybody post, make sure you put the send it to Pound Mark Kissler. I still don't know how that works. I still haven't figured that out. But I, apparently, you're supposed to do something and then have everybody post it to that name, right? All right. So. Uh, we're going to draw that you want to do that. Uh, you want to draw this little piggy guy right here, guys. All right, let's do it. Let's make the piggy. We'll draw a little flying pig. I'm going to draw the draw block in the piggy's body. We'll do a little flying pig puppet. Make sure you have plenty of room to put a handle. This pig, I did not put a long enough handle. And so it got all thrashed. Make sure you do it on thick paper too, by the way. Make sure you're doing it on thick paper. Let's zoom that in so you guys can see it. Let's zoom this one in so you can see it better. Let's focus and focus. Now our drawing, we start very light, loose. Give yourself, remember that. Give yourself the license to flop. You have to fail to succeed. No stress, you guys. No stress. Stress is on the bus. And I don't know where that little, my, my I have a little... I have so I have there it is. Oh wait, ah, oh, there it is. Stress is on the bus. No stress. No stress. No stress. Someone type in beep 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 beep. So we're just we're drawing. How can you be stressed? We're just gonna draw a flying pig, a flying chubby pig. No stress, just fun. All right. Are you guys is anybody drawing with me out there? I wonder if you're drawing with me out there. It's it's so surreal drawing in an empty room with my cats. But I have to it's a leap of faith. That you said that there's someone out there drawing with me, right? Is someone out there drawing with me on Instagram? I see Instagram. Uh, here, usually I draw with you all. Andrew Young, thank you. Joey Milo, draw, 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 draw. That's right. Fatima, Richard, woo, Lynn, woo, woo. I, should, I need to do a paper puppet saying woo. Right now, I can just do this with this guy up here. Ooh, oh yeah, ooh, ooh. Get you guys drawn tonight, Friday night. This is our exciting way to spend Friday night during COVID, right? Better than going out and stressing out. Just stay home and draw, man. All right, so I'm going to make this pig. I'm going to put his nostril kind of up here, a foreshortened circle. And I'm going to taper the, taper the nose down. This is our goal. We're going to draw something like that. So right, we know right away, I know right away, by the way, this is the best eraser I've ever had. Emily Albright, thank you for the, for this tip here. I love this eraser. It's a Tombow Mono Zero. I don't know if you can see that. 
It's an awesome, amazing, amazing, wonderful eraser. I love it. All right, I'm going to use my brush here. Get my brush. Get my brush out here. Brush off the crumbs. Keep that handy. All right, so now I'm going to draw the pig. Here's the the pig's near eyes larger, and that eyes a little bit smaller as it moves away. And this pig is going to be flying back, and so I'm going to I'm going to put his little his ears kind of flapping back here, and this ear is going to be flapping little S curve back there. Isn't that cool, you guys? You with me? And I'm just trying really sketchy, real light to start with, and then we darken it in, we focus it. I think I'll draw little little pigs, those little hairs on the pig's head, and then the, for the nostrils, I'm going to put a foreshortened circle there. Foreshortening, there's uh, when you draw in 3D, you got to learn these 12 Renaissance words, and these 12 words have been around for 500 years. Okay, these are the 12 words I'm using: foreshortening, shading, size, sh um, horizon, contour, uh, just all these words that help you draw. They've been around for 500 years. If you want to get this a uh, free printout. Go to my Draw 3D website, okay? And while you're there, please sign your family up. There's hundreds. I think there's like 500, up to 500 lessons. And um, <laughs> Andrew is eating a homemade quesadilla with us. Uh, well, I am. Oh my goodness! Uh, hey, I'm I'm on my way over, wearing my hazmat suit because. Uh, I want quesadillas. I want quesadillas. Woo! Oh, I love quesadillas. Are you putting cilantro on them? Oh, I love cilantro. All right. Now, here's a my little segue. Thank you for putting up with my promotions because this is all my recorded lessons. There's no commercials on that. And uh, here's my Fine Arts Academy. Where's my little note for my Fine Arts Academy? Where is it? Uh, let's see here. I got to find it. There it is. Got to keep that handy. Now, this is what my goal is with this these webcasts. Number one is I want you to draw, okay? And then my side, my side agenda, my transparent promotional goal is to inspire you guys to sign your family up for my recorded lessons on Draw 3D or and or my Fine Arts Academy, which is hours and hours every day of live webcasting and there's my schedule of all the other art art teachers that join me throughout the month this is just september this is just september schedule we have all kinds of celebrity guest artists coming now um i have a non-profit organization the imagination initiative and we're giving scholarships out to kids families who uh, uh can't afford it but would love to benefit from the visual art program and if you know of any families who'd benefit, please send me an email. We just we want to make sure we that any family, any family that wants to participate in one of these programs here or both the programs. And uh, I don't want money to be an issue of helping kids learn to draw and be creative. And the way we're doing it, we've raised over um, I mean thousands of dollars and we've donated scholarships to kids for summer camp. Well, now. We just started this last week. We're going to start giving scholarships to kids for the online program since everything's online now. Okay. And Andrew Young, thank you. Andrew Young, you put in 50 bucks. I saw that. Andrew Young, thank you for the $50 donation to the uh, Imagination in Initiative. And Andrew, I sent you a, a link to, to this. Um, now, this is usually an exclusive uh, for Draw 3D members and for uh, art fine arts academy members so for for these two for the people who are in draw 3d for recorded and the people who like the live lessons with me i do mighty mondays to bring everybody together now on mighty mondays i do a, a zoom class at 10 o'clock in the morning 11 o'clock we do uh, uh one at one o'clock we do one at four o'clock after school special we do one at 6 30 at night then i have special guest artists coming every monday and so, Andrew, I sent you a free link to you get a whole year of Mondays for that donation. In fact, I'll, you know what? I will for any donation, fifty dollars or greater. I'll, I'll give you a whole a link of for, for a whole year of Mondays of Mighty Mondays. Okay, any fifty dollar or greater donation, and that means that we can scholarship a couple kids. Okay, it's just it's a great way. So it's a win win. You as a little gift, you get the link to our Mighty Mondays Zoom classes. There's like five, six hours a day. Um, if you can afford, I had a, a two thousand five hundred 
dollar donation two months ago, and boy, we were able to scholarship a lot of a lot of kids through that. So thank you guys for if, whatever you can afford. It goes to my nonprofit. We'll we'll get it out. We'll use it to scholarship these kids. So thanks, guys. All right. So back to my drawing. Thanks. Thank you for letting me do my little promotion here. I appreciate it. Look at that. I still have people online with me through all my chattering. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is Mr. Mark so hyper tonight? And it's I have two reasons. One, I rode my bike this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning for half an hour, and it changed my whole day. I just I forget how, how impactful even a half hour of physical exercise. Oh, my gosh. I just I feel great. And the other thing is I had two cups of half-calf coffee. And this is after months of no caffeine. But this week I just kind of threw that to the wind. And I've been limiting myself to two cups of half-calf a day. And so there you go. Between bike riding my bike at 8 in the morning for half hour and my two cups of half-calf. Of course, drawing with the kids all day. That, that's awesome. We're going to be drawing this puppet. So let's put a four short in circle. This is and taper it back. All right. This is our puppet. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm glad I can add. I finally have one that has a longer. Uh, I'm gonna draw that that leg back there. He's flying. He's reaching out here. We. And I like how they're at different angles. You see that this this one had the same angle. All right. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna darken this in. I'm gonna go ahead and darken this in. There's his body, and then there. Um, this is refining, defining, refining and defining. I talk a lot about refining and defining in my uh, "You Can Draw in Thirty Days" book. Does anybody have my "You Can Draw in Thirty Days" book? If you have this book, uh, text me, would you? I want to see if you guys have any of this book. Anybody have my 199 days days book? I just got a new shipment. I have a hundred of new of these ones. If you guys want to want to get an autographed copy, this nook it's finally in stock. For those of you who've been waiting for it for three months or longer, I just got the order today. I pulled it in just in time before it rained on the boxes. Thank you, UPS. <laughs> Putting it on my uh, right right outside. You know, two more feet it would have been under my front front porch eve, right? But no, no, it's right on the cement, right? You know, it's like hello. Anyhow, blah, blah, blah. It happens with FedEx and UPS and everybody's shipping. So it's not just I'm not, I don't have a grudge against one. I just, come on, two more feet, put it out of the weather. Hey, do you guys have Imagination Station? That's another book. Uh, but you can do my, uh, these are uh, such cool books. I'm, I, I just f found all these. Look at, I hope you guys get these. Remember the old Draw Squad book? Did anybody have that? Remember the old Draw? Look how young I was. Was it ever that young? Oh my gosh, this is a great one. This book right here, drawing a 3D. This is a thick, this is 300 something pages. It's really cool. You could draw 30 minutes. That's a cool book. This is a sleeper. I don't know why this wasn't a, a big hit. It's really a good book, but it's uh it, it's just it's, it's one of the, it's what you call a sleeper. Then here's the two books I'm working on right now. Um, I'm gonna finish this one up in the next two weeks. You could draw in 30 seconds. And then this one's all ready to get published. Our pencil power. Blah, blah, blah. Squirrel, you want to get back to the drawing? Or do you like me just sitting here constantly talking about all my exciting projects? Hey, let's see here. I got Melody here. Oh, Melody, you get a free copy. Melody, do not buy a copy of the 199 Days book. Melody has been my, my uh, she and with uh, her husband's support out there in Northern California, thank you, Mike, and thank you, Melody, for just, my goodness, four months, three months of her volunteer time helping me as a technical uh, assistant for all these webcasts. Just incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me zoom this in and let's finish this drawing. I'm hungry for my baked chicken. Now I can smell it downstairs. Curve this right here. Now watch. I'm going to curve this away. It's curving in a different direction. I'm going to zoom that in a little bit more so you can see it. I'm going to zoom this one in a little bit more. How you guys? Can you guys see it okay on Instagram? Instagram, you guys you guys have the bouncy uh, lock on a phone there. Hey, Robert Newstead's on. 
Robert. Hello, Cleveland. Oh, he's in Ohio. Hello, Robert Newstad. Robert Newstad, the executive producer and co-creator of Imagination Station, now available on Amazon Prime. Woo! Robert Newstad, it's so great to have you on there, buddy. So great. It always it always makes me happy. I met Robert in uh, 1986 on the set of The Secret City. I, he was in, I, we're at Maryland Public Television, and I was, uh, little pig's tail here. I was, um, uh, I was in one set uh, next to Lewis Ruckheiser's Wall Street Week, and we were producing, you know what, I'm going to have to move that piggy's tail, because I'm going to draw a big wing right here. So I'm going to move that tail. I, I want to be able to see that cute little tail. So I'm going to move that. So I'm going to draw this big wing right here. See, I'm going to draw the big wing. And then the other wing back here, the other wing back here is going to be kind of going up like that. So this wing's going to be closer, and this wing is smaller. It's further away. Then I erase whatever. Clean up, clean up, right? So then I'm going to draw the pig's wing. And I'm going to do rows of feathers. I'm going to do one row here, one row here, and then this row of feathers. So I'm going to do the first row of feathers. First row of feathers, a little, I'm going to twist and turn my paper. Then another row of feathers. Different sizes and shapes, use variation of variety. <coughs> and then the, the last row is going to be, these feathers are going to be longer. It's going to be longer here. And I'll put that. I know I don't really necessarily like that last one. So here, what I want to do is I'm going to erase. I want to erase that line in there. All right. And then I, and I want to erase that. I don't like that last feather. See, if you don't erase it, no big deal. No problem. Just if you don't like it, erase it and redraw it. That's why we have the eraser. I like that a little bit better. And then now watch what I'm going to do on this. This is cool. I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to shade. I'm going to put a shadow in between each of these feathers. You see that? See what I'm going to do that? See what I do? I love that when you put a little shadow. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look, mine's, uh, look I'm hungry, so I'm going kind of fast. I think I'm motivated. All right. How are you guys doing? Let's check on the uh, Facebook messages. I'm, oh, I'm getting behind on the Facebook messages. Hi, Lynn. Zebtron. Rod Thompson. Woo! And uh, look at you guys. You guys are awesome. Hey, Melody. Good to see you. I'm looking back through the... Uh, oh, Melody. Good job. She posted the Mono Zero Eraser link. Richard has five of my books. Thank you. Uh, I wish someone had a copy of the Secret City book. Uh, I actually have a copy of the Secret City book, Melody. I'll, se I'll send you some... I'll send you some pics of it, okay? Now... Let's shade here. Let's shade here. And I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to use... <coughs> I'm going to use my Stompy, but now... I got to redraw those feathers because I really did, did it. When I went through my eraser, I really marked it up. All right, now let's use our Stompy. What? Before I use the Stompy, I'm going to draw the under the wing outline. Like that. And then I'm going to shade it. See, it's like the underarm area, the underwing area. With the exception of what it's not stinky on a bird. And there's the underwing area. Blended, it's blended shading, right? Let's use, now we use our stomp. These are the tools I recommend you have always in hand. Your blending stomp. Now, mine's a year old. I just love it when it gets mangled and lots of, uh, lots of residual uh, graphite on the end. This is what they look like new. See? Get a new pack of those. Uh, any kind of pencil will do. Any kind of eraser will do. I got all kinds of erasers here. Uh, any pencil, any eraser, any kind of paper. But I, of course, will always recommend if you're going to be doing this 30 day drawing challenges, but you can draw in 30 days, right? Based on my book. I hope you guys buy my book. A little promo, 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 right? Got to pay, got to pay, pay my, pay, pay to keep my, uh, my purpose and mission going along here, right? Pay for the lights. Now look at get yourself a sketchbook. Fix, we get make sure it's spiral hard to cover. I would say get a sketchbook. If you go to my website, you can see I uh, I have links that I suggest.
brands for your stomps, brand for your pencils, and really cool brands for your uh, sketchbooks. And there's uh, some sketchbooks that are from ASW Express right now. Are they're fifty percent off with the back to school? Fifty percent off sketchbooks. That's cool. So I'm going to put this in shadow back here. This is going to be kind of a big paper puppet. I usually like to keep these a little bit smaller. Now, when I'm do putting a value, I like to keep all my lines going in the same direction. But it's not not always. Here, look at now this this is a case in point on this one. Look at all the different directions in the background. Look at usually I I try but look at different direct different. So sometimes I do a hodgepodge. And sometimes I try to keep them all in the same direction. It just really depends on the 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 drawing and then the you know the phase of the moon and if I'm hungry for my shake and bake oven chicken downstairs that I'm just ready to go down and munch on. Okay, I'm gonna darken this up here. I'm gonna use my stompy in just a second. Now here's here's the handle. I'm gonna cut this handle out. Make sure it's a thick enough handle. We're making a puppet, a cool paper puppet. It's going to be awesome. Now, this this one, see how it flops over? This this paper wasn't as firm, but on this one, look at this. Look at this one. This one is a little bit a little bit thicker paper. I tried to try to use 110. Yeah, who little make sure you have a handle, long enough for a handle on it, okay? And uh all right, so we do our, we did that, and then we're gonna draw the the flying pig's butt. <gasps> he said flying pig's butt. And all the kids start freaking out when I do that in the class. Little uh, the little tail. Hey guys, anybody still drawing with me on Instagram? Anybody still drawing with me on Facebook? Anybody start drawing with me on uh, YouTube? You guys, anybody drawing? Let me know. Let me let me know what type. Type in what country you're from. Even if you're watching this as a post, even if you're just watching the recording of this, not live, but the recording, would you type in the comment box what state you're from, what country you're from? And uh, type in if you, if you uh, in the comment box, let me know if you actually drew with me. I, I'm, I'm so curious to find out. This is like my 20, what, 23rd, 24th day of our 30-day drawing challenge. And I'll go more days if you guys are drawing with me and enjoying it. And you guys let me know, you know, I'll go, I'll go 60 days. I'll go another 30. I, I like to go live every day around noon ish, heavy on the ish and around 8 PM ish, heavy on the ish central time. I can't tell you exactly. It's just too stressful for me to say, give you an exact time. I'm a single dad with, my 21-year-old daughter, who, which I'm soon to be a grandpa. I'm soon to be a grandpa. Can you believe it? Grandpa Commander Mark. I'm going to be a grandpa. And then my uh, special abilities son, 18-year-old Mario. Woo! You guys, we're, gonna, we're going to get his trailer next week. That was so cool. You guys made it possible. Mario raised over $5,000. This is Mario's... This is Mario's little uh, GoFundMe. Ryan Shaw made a cool. We're gonna put this on a wrap. It's gonna be a huge picture on both sides of his trailer. But he he's his goal was eight thousand dollars. He wanted to raise it on his own. And his story. Go to GoFundMe and type in Mighty Mario's Dream and read Mario's story. He's raised over five thousand two hundred dollars. So we have enough to get his trailer to get the hitch on my vehicle and get a couple of his. Uh, Lawn equipment. He already has. He has lawnmowers and weed eaters and trimmers and blowers. But he wants to get a zero turn lawnmower and a steel, another steel blower. And he boy he he has a high high uh, he 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 has a, a a love for the best high quality. He loves his high quality commercial grade, and he wants to get take his equipment and the trailer go around to seniors yards and volunteer to 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 do their yards and uh, he wants to go to people who can't afford it he started doing this after hurricane harvey moans moan friends lot yards helping them clean up their yards and he loved it and so he uh 
He's he's one of my heroes. He's awesome. Mighty Mario. Uh, Shade down here. Shade down here. Uh, we sure miss him. Uh, his phone is broken. So that's why he's not face. He, he was like so disappointed. So boy, I jumped on Amazon right away and ordered him another phone because I I I hate not being able to FaceTime him into my to these uh, to these lives. It, it's just he's so cool. To, he's my co-host, man. He's my co-pilot. All right, I'm darkening it in. We're shading. We have our little flapping. Our and then now watch. I'm going to put a little shading underneath each of these feathers. You love it? <clears throat> and then maybe I'll put a little more shading, a little more darkness here. Make sure it's nice and dark along the bottom. I think I'll put just a really light value. That's a way the light's coming from the top right. So I just I love you can I just love the shading part. You can noodle it and doodle this noodle and doodle. A lot. See, I just, I love this part of the, I love it when you're adding this, all the little detail. Oh, we forgot, we almost forgot the back, the peekaboo leg back here. That one's shorter and smaller. And that one's going to be all in shading underneath there. That's the peekaboo. Someone type in peekaboo. Got to put your peekaboo leg in there. Peekaboo. All right. Well, there you go. Now we got to cut it out. This is the fun part. We made our own little flying pig puppet. I love it. Someone type in, I love it. Someone type in three, that was a three-legged pig. Thank you for catching that for me. All right, let me zoom this out. I'm going to cut it. Use some scissors. Now, you can look at on this, on my, uh, this one I've been using for like three years. I used my fingers. I just ripped it out. You can see, look, it's been mangled. I've had that for years. But I'm going to go ahead just for, it's much, it's much faster to use your scissors as long as you don't drop them like I just did. So I just cut out the big stuff first. Cut out the big. All right. So now I'll take it and I'll, uh, I'll add, I'll do a little more. Uh, trimming here and I like to follow the the you know whoa, I almost cut off his tail surgery emergency don't cut off his tail here and then I'll kind of do along the feathers go out and I'll go in and I go out see I like to give it a little bit of a little bit of a serrated edge around the feathers. This will look really cool when you're holding it up against the background, you know. Okay. Take your time. You don't have to be in a hurry just because you have your baked chicken downstairs with your corn on the cob. Don't think about that. Think about finishing your little puppet. All right. You guys like it? Yeah, I don't. I never want you to have another awkward moment when you're doing a face FaceTime or you're doing some kind of a video chat with your any of your friends or family. You can always throw your puppet up on the screen and have your puppet say some some outlandish fun comic relief. <clears throat> so just go ahead and. Trim it. Be careful. I've cut off. I've cut off arms and toes of my characters. Not my own fingers, but I've accidentally snipped too much or ripped too much, like I almost did right there. So I'm gonna do around the, the nose and uh, be careful. Now, if you do, if you do cut it by accident, like cut off to make your cut too too steep, you can always tape it together. You can always take tape and do a little triage, little emergencies surgery all right so then i look make sure you're i'm gonna make my 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 handle super wide make it super wide and if it's too flimsy you could take another piece and you could tape another piece on the back as support but there you go you guys there's our puppet let's let's zoom in on that one there is our puppet oops i'll zoom in on that one do you love it 
Thank you for hanging out. Look at what what better way to spend a Friday night than with your family drawing a big flying pig puppet. How's that? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Remember, please, uh, please uh, send me an email. Sign up for one free pass to my Mighty Mondays on Zoom. My emails are right here. Everybody on the planet could have one free link, one Monday link for the whole day on Monday, one Monday for the entire school year is free. You pick one square. Of course, if you sign up, there's my email, markandmarkasset.com. And if you sign up for the Fine Arts Academy, this is Mondays are included in your uh, Mondays are included in your um, in your membership Monday through Friday, several hours every day. If you sign up for Draw 3D, you guys, if you sign up for Draw3D.com, thank you by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your business. Ed Heck, Ed Heck, oh my God, I got Ed Heck. Look at this, he's one of my favorite pop artists of, on the planet. Ed, I always have that ready for when you make a sneak appearance. Ed Heck, Ed Heck, Ed Heck is a New York national treasure. He's known around the world for his amazing art. Ed, obviously, I'm a huge fan. And check this out. Ed's going to be our guest right there. The 15th, Ed, are you excited? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you charged? Look at our calendar. It's really shaping up our first month. It's so awesome. You know who we have a guest, too, is Annette Ronan. The famous muralist. She goes all over the world painting murals. And she lives in Texas. And she's going to be our guest on Zoom on one of these nights. All right. So thank you, Ed. Remember, if you want to sponsor a kid for the uh, Art Academy or for the Draw 3D, make make a $50 donation to my nonprofit, Mark Kistler uh, nonprofit. Go to that. Uh, go. You go to my website and click nonprofit. Uh, markkisser.com, which is right before I freaked out over Ed Heck. There it is right there. Okay. And uh, it was, make a donation and support it. Okay. Remember, uh, September 12th, we're going to, we're going, uh, doing our collaboration with Team Artemis from NASA. We're doing the live September 12th at noon. Okay. That's going to be cool. Ed, thanks a lot for that drawing. That is so cool. All right. Ed Heck. Oh, you're such a stud. Ed, and thank you so much for your wonderful, that wonderful birthday tribute. That was cool, man. You rock. <laughs> All right. And you know what's great is getting older. I mean, I'm, what, I'm 57 again this year. I thought I was 57 last year because I'm lame. But to be our age, Ed, and to meet a kindred spirit, like when we met each other at the Comic-Con, and to bond and become friends instantly. You know, I just, I love that. I love that about the, uh, our, uh, our human condition, how even at our age, we can, st you can still meet kindred spirits. So just what a, what a treasure it is to know you and be your friend. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for drawing with me tonight. I'm going to go down and eat baked chicken and corn on the cob. And I'm going to say good night first. We'll say good night to Instagram. Bye, Instagram. You're awesome. Then I'm going to say goodbye to Facebook. Goodbye, Facebook. Love you. You're amazing. And then let's say goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. Farewell. We'll see you later.